if anyone from ImageLine is watching this video and they want to strike it down because I don't have a license, I am actually using the trial version. What is up guys, it's your boy Gunso's Bones Kit is out now for 50% off for two more days, you have the link in the description and welcome back to another quick tip after a long time. But a lot of y'all been asking me how to do the bouncy stuttery switch up that I always do. And it's actually quite simple, so let's just jump into it. So this is the project that I'll be using for today's video. This is what I'm referring to when I say the stuttery switch up. So it's this specific part which is quite easy to, to achieve. So I'm gonna be using this part here to replicate this one. You'll need one bar for this whole thing, actually one and a half. So you wanna cut, I would say, somewhere in the middle of the verse. So you know, if your verse is 16 bars long, you'd wanna do it somewhere you know, nine bars in. So let's say this middle point. So now that you have your designated place for the stutter effect, you gotta know that one bar is divided by four beats and those four beats are also divided by another four uh, increments something segments i don't know exactly what they're called but we're gonna cut out the last segment of the first beat so like this and now we're just gonna delete everything like this and we're gonna do the same thing for the third beat so we're gonna chop this up Actually, let me select it so it's easier to follow and then chop it here as well and then just getting rid of this. And now we can actually delete this area since it won't be needed. So same thing goes to the last beat. So now what we're going to do is just select the chopped parts and then hold shift, click and move them to the right. So we already have the stutter switch up. Although I wanna get rid of these kicks because I feel like they're too much. And I'm also gonna select them, hold shift, and drag them over the snares as well. So now it's gonna sound like this. It still doesn't feel quite there. So we're gonna take the kicks, we're gonna copy them and move them like this. So we wanna have kick 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 you know so like a fast kick rhythm like this you can even chop the sample even more if you wanted to to fit the melody more because as you can see in this area the sample first of all is slightly different so but it's the same idea, it really depends on, on the sample, on how it's actually gonna sound like. But that's quite it, you can also add a few uh, sound effects, you know, with a uh, delay as well. So the delay also is gonna hit when the kicks are gonna hit, so... You can always play with it, you can always add things, you can remove things, but that's quite it, it's this simple. And uh, I actually tried playing with the kick pattern, so it's not always the same thing, but I feel like this is the most natural sounding one. I tried even using triplets, those sound okay, but this specific pattern makes it sound the best out of all of them, in my opinion. Now, you can play with them, as I said, you can figure out something that works for you. But that's about it with this video. Hopefully now you won't ask me for this specific thing. You can just watch this video. And also, I need your suggestions because I feel like I'm running out of ideas slowly. I mean, I've been <laughs> I've been running out of ideas for like the past two years, but if you wanna know something specific that I could actually do, please let me know in the comments. Also, I wanna thank everyone who supported me by buying the drum kits. Thanks to you, I have a license once again, and I can finally make videos you know, on a fell without being scared of image line taking down my videos for not having a license. So thank you so much. It was a boy Ganso and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.